GDP declined by 0.1% in quarter one of 2024, following a meager 0.3% growth in the previous quarter. Furthermore, the CEOs emphasized the importance of fostering partnership between businesses and the government, implementing government reforms to create jobs and enhancing the country's workforce. Discovery CEO Adrian Gore highlights the need for job creation through economic expansion. For expert analysis, we turn to economics professor Walter Kriggle. With the new government of national unity, talk of economic reform is in the air. And recently, top CEOs have weighed in with their advice on what can be done to save the economy. These include creating jobs through government reform, building a skilled and capable state, and greater partnerships between business and government. These are not bad ideas, but to my mind we should not be casting around for new ideas at the moment. We have lots of them in the National Development Plan, and the recent evaluations of that plan point out many of the gaps. In fact, we probably have too many plans and should start by prioritizing ideas and then fast-tracking their implementation. It's also time to start talking about the reasons for slow progress with initiatives around, for example, more public-private cooperation. Do we need more legislative drive to make them possible? Are other policies around public procurement, local content or BEE slowing them down? Are bureaucrats blocking the way or have the private sector been scared off by previous experiences? Or is there simply too much uncertainty in the air? This sounds like a job for Operation Volendela.